Hey guys, check out this problem. This is an example of a problem that requires daisy chaining together or linking together several key algebraic insights in order to answer it. Notice there's an applied math solution path. We want prime factors of 3 to the 8th minus 2 to the 8th. And it's just reasonable enough that we can do the math here. And the GMAT will do this a lot. They'll give us math that's time consuming, but not unreasonably time consuming, in order to just draw us in to an applied math solution path. We'll take a look at this really quickly. 3 to the 8th is the same as 9 to the 4th. 3, 9, 9 times 9 is 81 squared, about 6,400. Or if we want to get exact, which we do need to do here because we're dealing with factors, 81 times 81 is 6,561. Don't expect you to know that. It could be done in 20 seconds on a piece of paper or mentally. And then 2 to the 8th, that one you should know, is 256. 6561 minus 256 is 6305. So now we need to break down 6305 into prime factors. You know how to do that using a factor tree. So I'm going to zoom us right into a better solution path because I don't want to give away the answer. Notice that 3 to the 8th and 2 to the 8th are both perfect squares. So we have the opportunity to factor this into 3 to the 4th minus 2 to the 4th times 3 to the 4th plus 2 to the 4th. Once again, the first term is a difference of two squares. The second term we can't do anything with. So we break down that term and lo and behold, 3 squared minus 2 squared times 3 squared plus 2 squared times 3 to the 4th plus 2 to the 4th. And once again, we can factor that, that first term out into 3 plus 2, 3 minus 2, and so on. We work these out mathematically, and they're much easier and more accessible mathematically. And we get 3 minus 2 is 1, which obviously a factor of everything. 3 plus 2 is 5. 3 squared plus 2 squared, 9 plus 4 is 13. And then 3 to the 4th plus 2 to the 4th, 81 plus 16 is 97. So now we've eliminated everything except B and C. 65 and 35. This is where the other piece of knowledge comes in. Since we have factors of 5 and 13, 65 must also be a factor because it's comprised of a 5 and a 13. 35 requires a 7. We don't have a 7 anywhere. So the correct answer choice is C, 35. So the big takeaways here are that when provided with some sort of algebraic expression like this, look for a factoring pattern. And when it comes to prime factorization, remember that if you break down into the basic prime factor building blocks, anything that is a product of those building blocks also exists as a factor. I hope this helped and I look forward to seeing you guys again real soon.